Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. All right, tea sippers. So once again, the gift that keeps on giving. After I just dropped my Cat Williams video concerning the whole situation with Ludacris. People started tagging me in this post talking about Dave Chappelle has finally spoken up and he's not saying what we thought he'd be saying, okay? Um, it seems like Dave Chappelle is definitely feeling away. And can I add how MREC TV was able to get not only audio but video? Because when I went to Dave Chappelle's comedy show here in the Twin Cities back in September, they took all our cell phones, they put them in some type of bag, had them locked up. We weren't able to film anything, but somehow MREC TV, you're going to hear them keep saying their name throughout the video, they were able to film it. I have not watched the whole video, so we're going to go ahead and watch it together. Um, I was able to find it on MREC TV's TikTok. They're the only ones who have the two-part video, so so we're gonna go ahead and watch both parts right now. You said what? No, D. Rick. You know why? Because Mom Wayans called me and told me you said what Cat did was good for comedy. No, it's not. And Brett. No, because he did it. He shot a lot of lights regardless of what my fuck. He shot a lot of lights on this shit this morning. My fuck was out here boarding and my fuck. He made it basketball again. Competitive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want? Can we get? You want? You go to two thousand? No, shut up, nigga. Because <laughs> you, know why, you know why I disagree? Because I put the special out the same day and it was fine. And this nigga had to come out, I read 3,000 books by the time he was seven years old. What the fuck are you talking about? Man, we time to get money. Oh, so is that why you really mad, Dave Chappelle? Because his Netflix special came out on the same day and literally nobody's been talking about it. I did get a chance to watch his Netflix special. It was cool. It was funny. You know what I'm saying? I definitely got a key key. But as you see, we are all talking about Cat Williams. Even a week, two weeks later, Cat Williams' tea is still piping hot on these streets, okay? So let's go ahead and see what else Dave Chappelle has to say. Where is the money in that? Where is the money in that? Yeah. And wreck TV. Nigga, that sounds ridiculous. You know what I'm You have to pause about it so I know I'm smart. No, no, no. Say it again. All right. He said, D Ray, I will check. Yes. I put out an album and you put out a mixtape. Yeah, your shit pop. You put out a mixtape. Can I get another Casamino? All they ass is as drunk as hell. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and watch his part two as well. And I've been doing comedy for almost 40 years, and I'm only 50 years old. And let me tell you something. I go to niggas, I go to niggas fucking, I go to niggas baby christenings, I go to their weddings, I've gone to niggas funerals, and we're part of the game. Is this? He only eat the niggas. He didn't say anything about any of these white boys. And none of these white boys function like that. And Cat is one of the best painters in the game. And so why are you drawing all ugly pictures of us? Now, let me say this. I don't agree with that. He said that Cat Williams only went after niggas, after other black men. But you gotta think about it like this. They were the ones who were going after Cat Williams first and spreading lies on Cat Williams, saying he was on drugs and everything else. It seems like Cat Williams went against the people, you know what I'm saying, who were a part of the system, who were part of this so-called cabal. Um, 
You know, by that logic, then Dave Chappelle shouldn't be doing any jokes about black people because when he had the Dave Chappelle show, he definitely made black folks look crazy with certain skits and things like that. I was definitely here for it. It was definitely funny. It was a key key. But people could say that. Like, you know, why are you making fun of your own race? And I mean, he's made fun of white people too, don't get me wrong. But I just feel like Cat Williams' grievances were with other black male comics and Tiffany Haddish. And it is what it is. Maybe the white comedians have not blackballed him and fucked with him and done things to him, you know what I'm saying, to mess up his career like the other black artists did. But that's just me on the outside looking in, child. Hey, yo, yo, did he say anything about, did he say anything about me? And wreck TV. Yes, he did. Nothing and bad. what did he say? Nothing bad. He love you, Dad. He love you. And I'm awesome. And you want to know why he said that? Because I've been nothing ever but kind to this nigga. And That's right. you can only say the same. And you can only say the same. I've never ever hurt any of you and all these niggas have taken shots at me because it hurts to be big and can't and can't and and hurt people hurt people but i'm a hurt person that never hurt people and he does it all the time fuck this one and fuck that one and fuck this one but big out of anything that you did wrong he didn't do nothing wrong and wreck TV. I'm gonna bring a picture of a black guy, cat that doesn't be. What you just did was someone called you. What you not gonna say the name? You said was called you because I don't, I don't, I don't got it today. You already said the name. And wreck TV. Just like called you and said, D-Way said it was good for the culture. That's all they gave. Oh, Marlon, Marlon. So that's the only one. Fat Joe, and wreck. Yeah. Is doing it. No, he's not. I am 50 years old. I am not beefing with you niggas. Ever. 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 And if you guys want to play the game like that, then set them up. Let's play, nigga, but I don't. But if you play with me, let's go. Let's go. Dave done had a bit too much Casamigos in his drink. Um, damn, Cat Williams really got people in their feelings. Uh, this whole situation is crazy to me. You got D-Ray on stage. I don't know where D-Ray came from backstage, I guess. He's on stage and he's saying that he agrees with it. There's obviously a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes in the comedy industry that we had no idea about. But Dave is definitely in his feelings. And I'm starting to feel like, I'm not saying that he's jealous of Cat. You know what I'm saying? Because Dave Chappelle is one of the best comedians in his own right. But I'm thinking like this whole Club Shay Shay interview is way deeper than any of us really know. And the fact that he got that many views and that much traction. And because of that, now we all know Shannon Sharp is eating good. But Cat Williams' comedy tour is literally selling out. As soon as I found out he was coming to Minneapolis, honey, I went and grabbed eight tickets for me and my tea sippers, and we are heading down there in April to go see Cat Williams, honey, okay? Hey, sir. Hey, let's see what I'm going to buy this Yo, D-Ray. So all we need to do D-Ray, let me tell you something about this nigga. I sat right, I sat right there. I sat right, wait, 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 wait. I still D, I sat, D-Ray, I sat right there. And I watched you do a set. And it was brilliant. And I'll tell you exactly what I thought was brilliant about it. And look at these bitches leaving at the door. I'm gonna go somewhere and do rats. Good night, bitch. Damn. No, 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 no. no. Dave I said, is drunk. I watched you do a set. It was brilliant. Listen, brilliant. Every joke you told was tragic, it's personal. This nigga did a joke about waiting for his father to come see him and looking out the window in anticipation. Niggas was falling out of the chair. Everything he said was painful and he made everyone laugh. I saw you do that. He didn't say anything about anybody. 
say that they say he cat was talking about shit that niggas did to other niggas, but not about anything that niggas yeah. did to him. If I told my story, it would break your heart. Your heart. If I told my story, it would break your heart. I lost everything and never ever told on anybody. And this nigga is the arbiter of truth. Cat, listen, I fuck with Cat hard. And wreck. But, 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 wait, 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 D-Ray, just tell me what part of the game fucks up another nigga's paper. And wreck. What part of the game is about tipping on another nigga. Tiffany Haddish is living something heavy. And as clumsy as she is, I don't disagree with Cat. He been telling the real shit. And right. This one's fucked up this way, and that one's fucked up this way. Yes, nigga, that is true. But why would you say that? Because all of us are trying to be in a better situation. Can we get over it? Open the window. Open the window. This room stinks. I want to be. I want to be as respectful as possible. So I'm telling you this. So when someone called you, they said Eray said it was good for the culture. But they didn't tell you why Eray said it was good for the culture. It wasn't because I felt. I also said it can't, what Cat said was he said a lot of personal stuff that has nothing to do with comedy. But the funny shit is funny. It's funny that nigga said. Oh no, it was funny. I'm not saying. No, no, wait a minute. I'm not saying it wasn't funny. I what did I say? I said a master chef could, could be friends. It's funny that he's talking about how he's upset that Cat Williams is calling these people out. Tiffany Haddish included. Um, he's saying, you know, you're stopping people's bags and stuff like that. But I'm noticing he's not talking about integrity. And what these people had done to him. Not saying that Cat is all the way innocent. I'm sure Cat may have done some things. There might have been some misunderstandings. But you can definitely tell Dave is going where the money resides. Money resides, where the money resides, where the money resides. This is not the Dave Chappelle that walked away from $50 million. So I'm kind of surprised to hear him, you know, kind of talking like this. But I get it. You know, he wants peace between all the comics and everything else. But... Just like in the rap game, comedians are going to beef and roast each other and go back and forth. Everybody wants to be the top dog in comedy. And if you feel like you're better than or you're funnier than a lot of these comedians who have had all this mainstream appeal and mainstream push, you're definitely going to feel away. And I feel like that's kind of why Kat feels upset and a bit jaded. So it's just it's a very interesting take to hear Dave Chappelle saying this. So let's go ahead and keep listening. I stand by that. Me, I'm not gonna take later about all the bulk of what you said, but I'm gonna break down what you asked me why you did shit and your ability to do shit. No. Hey, no, wait, wait. No, you know exactly. Stop. Hey, no, no, no. Stop I let with the talk. semantics. It's only fair. It's only fair. Okay. You said. You said Tell your parents. I have no idea what you said. You said. You said. Right. Go ahead. All right. Go I'm, ahead. I'm, Go I'm ahead. Too. Can I tell you my story? <laughs> 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 all I'm saying is that. Well, all I'm saying is that. Right. The things you did, the way that you move, you know not to never do that to somebody because of the way you were raised, because how you come from, because you have 40 years in. You said longer than anybody's been doing comedy. You said standards, so your way of moving is different. So Cat's way of moving, the way he came in, the way he came in is different. So I'm not making excuses for him, because I don't, I don't think everything was right. I'm just saying, Dave, though, you're a superhero. And when you're a superhero, you can't move the same way. Mm. If you're a superhero, the way you are, you can't just flex your superpower for no reason because you do have stories about everybody. Probably some personal stories about people. No, 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 no. I hear what you're saying. What is the difference? Wait, wait, wait. Hear me out. No one sat him down. No one sat in front of Cat for real. No one sat me down. No one sat me down. Who the fuck would sit me down? And I've been doing comedy for. All right, so that was the video. Uh, shout out to MREC TV because they kept putting their name all through the clip. But um, I was able to still follow along and listen. Again, this Cat Williams interview, this is some mess I've never seen. It really has everybody in their feelings. The things that Cat Williams said on Club Shay Shay definitely ruffled a lot of feathers. I don't know how Shannon Sharp is going to be able to top that interview. He's not going to be able to. I know he interviewed Country Rain the other day. I think I watched two minutes and clicked off. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> I need more Cat Williams. I'm just saying. But um, Dave Chappelle, you know, he's entitled to his opinion. He's entitled to say what he feels about the situation. But I don't know. He just kind of sounded really bothered. And I'm thinking it goes back to what he initially said. Uh, I have a Netflix special that didn't even get as much traction or attention because of Cat Williams. This Cat Williams interview on Club Shay Shay has literally taken food out of a lot of people's mouths. Gotcha, bitch. You know, so it's it's going to be very interesting to see if Cat Williams replies back to Dave Chappelle, if he claps back, or if he lets Dave Chappelle live, okay? So anyways, y'all, go ahead and leave a comment. I look forward to reading your comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. And I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so tell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.